Hey guys, so it's been a weird couple of months. I wanted to do just a video update on my shop, on Etsy, as well as some health updates that will probably explain why YouTube has been a little bit inconsistent for Cantrip's media right now. We'll also kind of chat about what to expect out of my YouTube channel over the next few months, some stuff about Discord. Don't worry, I will add timestamps for all of those sections so that you can just skip to whatever you want to hear first or what you think is more important. Plus, I know I'm going to be ranting a little bit about the Etsy thing, but I digress. Let's start with the fun stuff. I've changed so many things with my shop that I'm excited to share with you. Let's just talk about packaging. I got new tissue paper that has like my logo on it and it's my teal color and it's got dice on it and it's super nice. This is kind of small. That's my fault because I you know, don't know how to read numbers, so I ordered the wrong size. So if you bought a lot, unfortunately, you'll still get the old tissue paper. I also have changed my freebies. I used to give a freebie sticker, and maybe I can put a picture here if I have a picture of them. I thought they were okay. They weren't my favorite. I hated printing them and I hated cutting them. Everybody does a freebie sticker and I was like, this doesn't feel personalized to me. This doesn't feel like something I would want to get if I ordered from this shop. So instead, I've made freebie bookmarks. They're that same um, foilness that my covers have. It says things are about to get dicey and you can actually put it right into your journal. I did give it a little extra space so this part will pop out a little bit for you so you can easily turn to the page. So yeah, there's that. I also have new thank you cards. They're like postcards. Again, so shiny. And I made a new business card that you don't want to throw it because look at how cool. Okay, you can't tell but because it's focusing on my face but yeah they're cool you don't want to throw these away right you want to keep it forever the other thing i need to talk about is paper things are going to be weird for paper for a little bit especially for the dm journals i'm switching to a local printing company who will be printing and cutting my journals for me i will still be doing everything else but this does take a huge chunk of work off of my plate as well as helps me avoid printer issues because my printers hate me and it helps me make sure the pages are really straight because because my paper cutter also hates me. I just have a lot of things that hate me in my, in my workshop. This will make sure things are more consistent. I actually like the paper better. It's not as like shiny. It doesn't have that like matte finish to it. However, it's thicker and I feel like you could write on it with Sharpie. I haven't tested this, but I feel like you could write on it with Sharpie and it wouldn't bleed through. And it's super thick, super nice to write on. The paper is slightly less white than the old stuff. And obviously it doesn't have that coating on it. So it does look a little different. So right now, if you're ordering page packs and you order a DM journal, they're going to be slightly different paper. I am getting my page packs printed right now as we speak. Eventually all of that will be the same for the DM journals. Just apologies for now because I don't want to waste the paper that I have. I want to use all of that up. And then also apologies to anybody who's bought an old one. I don't find much of a difference between the two unless you're really looking for the differences and you're really comparing the two side by side especially those of us with OCD it might bother people apologies ahead of time for players journals we're going to be doing the same thing we're going to use the same paper I'm doing one batch at a time I expect all of the paper to be changed by the end of the year hopefully the other thing is we have like so many cool new things in the shop I don't know if you've like been paying attention uh you should go check it out so I have I have like a there's like a pile of stuff right here. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go through all of it. First, we have a new journal. It's the Artificer Journal. You can't see the shiny cover with the plastic cover on top. Finally made this and you can actually watch a video on the, the design process, but I think I did a pretty good job. You won't find the full spell list because of the, they're not all in the SRD. Yeah, so you have like an infusions counter, you have a place to stash all the infusions you know here. I plan on releasing just the character sheets shortly. I've been a little bit behind as well as the cover and I plan on releasing a t-shirt with this same symbol on it as I've done with all the other t-shirts. That's the first thing. The next thing we have to talk about are these card holders which you can't see very well because they are clear but they're plastic, they're very flexible. So if you're expecting something rigid, they're not. If you buy any of like the 
a more official D&D spell cards, you can totally fit them in here. Actually, you can fit two in there. One this side and you have the other one turned around and use the other side. Um, these are now in the shop. The only thing I will be honest, so this is the closest I could find to fitting in my journal. I have no idea why they're not it's like standard. When you stick them in here, it does stick out like about I don't know, a quarter of an inch there. So just keep that in mind. Um, they're not perfect, but honestly, I think it makes it easier to flip straight to it. Again, that's a preference. And I wrote it all over the listing, so it's your fault if you didn't read the listing. Uh, no, just kidding. Guys, we have bags. And I'm excited about these because I'm tired of like carrying all of my stuff in those like grocery, you know, those reusable grocery bags. I don't want to do that anymore. And I don't have to. All my stuff is down here. This bag. Definitely not full of dice. This one's a little different because I don't know that you can tell, but the font is a little blurry on this one, so I shrank it on the other one. But it'll look similar to this. This one, which is like still freaks me out a little bit um, because these are all the weapons that you get on the covers. I just took them and I made them all colorful and they're like cool. I turn around like you can see the back and then I also have this one I think I have more but like I only got samples of so many and also like because I, I don't need that many bags this is the one I use the most you can hear my dice in here but this is like a 90s because I'm a 90s girl you can fit a bunch of books in here like even a DM could carry all their stuff in this these aren't even all the books I have but these are just some of the like modules I have so we'll just like stick them in here and show you you still have a butt ton of room you could fit like three more of those in here if you wanted like look at that there's lots of room now you can take your stuff to your session in style there's more we also have backpacks now so i took that things are about to get dicey put it in a bag i think it's pretty cool if you open it up it's hard to see because it's dark but it's got a pouch for your laptop to protect your laptop in there. It's like a school bag size, so like you could carry the butt ton in here. I, I don't know what you need to carry, but you could you could carry it. Then there's also like on the back, again, hard to see because it's dark. Hopefully I can brighten it so you can see better. But there's like a back pocket here. You can stash, I don't know, secret stuff, your wallet, your favorite dice. I don't know, it's your life, you do what you want. But I have two backpacks, so I have this one, which doesn't have a, a pocket here. And then I have this one. Oops, that was my phone. This one, which has a front pocket as well, which you could fit pencils or, again, I don't know your life. It also has the back pocket, the secret back pocket, and it also fits a laptop in here. I think it said 15 inch laptop can fit in here. My laptop fits, but my laptop's kind of small, so. I don't know. So lots of new things. I have a bunch of other things planned for the shop. Things have just been weird because of the health thing, which we'll talk about. This is the big one, the big health update that you've been waiting for. But don't freak out, I'm not dying. I, <laughs> uh, lately videos have not been weekly. I've been a little bit behind even on packing orders and things. I say behind, but it's behind for me. This is honestly the first time in like eight weeks that I felt okay enough to record a video. Everything else that you've seen has been recorded in the past and was just waiting for me to edit it. And this all, this all boils down to one thing. I'm pregnant. I'm making a tiny DM in here and this tiny DM is very wrathful and they really don't want me to enjoy food. <laughs> so I've been ba battling their homebrew vomit monster for the last uh, few weeks. Ask any lady who's had morning sickness. It is rough. You don't want to do anything. There were days where literally just moving made me want to throw up and so I'm not gonna get into like the details because it's horrible. That said, I still run a business and YouTube does not make me money. Not really. It is for fun. I just enjoy you know, helping people with D&D and I just enjoy like video editing and recording. Because it doesn't make me money, it is the thing that gets dropped first. <laughs> it was hard enough for me to pack orders. It's been a rough month. Honestly, that's kind of been a blessing in disguise because since I don't have as many orders to pack, that has also meant less work. So when I wasn't feeling very well, all I had to do was focus on the 10 or 15 orders I had to pack and get those out the door and then I was done. But if I had to have worried about 40 of them at a time, 
I, I don't know what I would have done. I would have had to like get some family to help me or something because it, it would have been too much. As of when this video gets posted, I will be 12 weeks along, which is also considered the safe zone. Otherwise, I would have told you guys like sooner, especially since I was really struggling with keeping up with orders there for a little bit, but I've actually been worried about it a lot for several reasons. But the biggest one was about a year ago, my husband and I had a miscarriage. Uh, the crazy thing is that it's pretty normal. Uh, one in four women experience a miscarriage at one point in their life but the crazier thing to me is that nobody talks about it <laughs> and so when it does happen to you it's like getting hit with a ton of bricks like you just get blindsided by it I'm sorry if this like triggers anybody or is rough for anybody to hear I'm not offended if you skip through this part I'm not offended if you leave a nasty comment um, and say I shouldn't talk about it but I I feel like our culture is so freaking weird about grief and miscarriages that I just wanted to put it out there and I just wanted to say if you are going through something like this or have gone through something like this you aren't alone and whatever you are feeling is 100% normal. <laughs> even if it feels like everybody else has moved on, even if it feels like you're the only one that's still hurting, you aren't alone, so it's okay. You are strong and you will get through this. It's not easy. Even now, like a year later, it still like hurts a little from time to time, but it's it does get easier. I promise. So on top of the miscarriage, <laughs> because life can never be simple. On top of the miscarriage, my husband and I continued to try to conceive for about a year. Total, it was over almost a year and a half. And all we had to prove was a miscarriage. Then we decided to see a specialist, had some minor issues that probably was uh, reducing our chances. He su suggested we do more testing. So at this point, we're both like, okay, well, we have less of a chance. We're not even thinking about, you know, babies or anything. We're just thinking, okay, well, what do we do to increase our chances? We put off scheduling the tests for a couple weeks and then found out I was pregnant. So, <laughs> so that's kind of what happens. I guess is like as soon as you give up trying that's when it happens but all of that aside what does this mean for YouTube content well obviously up until this point that meant unfortunately YouTube is last on the list however I'm starting to feel better I've finally like stopped throwing up every day which is you know a bonus and I've actually have energy again. So I'm hoping to get back on track with weekly videos. I'd like to start releasing videos about virtual tabletop gaming. I want to release some more videos about the different classes and like how to play specific classes. I really want to get into like short, like YouTube shorts and TikTok, but it's uh, a lot of work for me. Um, they freak me out a little, I'll be honest. But obviously I reserve the right to have to pause YouTube if something starts going wrong with the pregnancy or if I feel like I'm super fatigued or super sick or whatever. Unfortunately, YouTube is the first one to get cut. I apologize to you guys in advance. However, if you want to keep up with me, if you want to hear what's going on, I'm very good at like communicating in the Discord chat. I'm so horrible at social media now. Discord is the best way to like see what I'm doing. I always post like updates on what I'm working on in there, which leads us to the last section I would like to talk about and it is about the Discord. This last Saturday we had an absolutely fabulous time playing D&D together for our first ever game night. I DM'd a bunch of you and I didn't kill you yet, yet, and it was awesome. And I think everybody had fun, but maybe they're all just telling me that so I wouldn't kill them. I don't know. I want game night to be bigger, and I want it to be something that happens on a regular basis. We maybe a bi-monthly basis to give DMs time to like prep one shots and stuff. But I want to have game nights where we let new DMs try their hand at it. I'd pair you with an experienced DM. You guys could work together. Someone there to like help you if needed. I also want to have game nights with newbies. So I had two new players on Saturday and I think they had a lot of fun. I would love to like get more new players into the realm of D&D. I'd like to do themed game nights. I was thinking like a Pokemon themed night because some of the people in the community made these really cool monsters that were Pokemon themed and they were awesome. 
awesome. And then someone else shared one shot with me, pretty much was Pokemon. So I was like, that would be cool. I'd love to do like a Halloween themed one in October. You know, I, I want to do a lot. <laughs> but to do all this, I need you guys to sign up and be willing to, to play with strangers. I know asking a lot. It's honestly a lot of fun. Even if you don't want to play games with us, our community is very sweet and I like love all of them. We share a lot of like D&D stories there. We share some tips. We share one shots. We share updates that when things go on sale, like virtual sales or whatever, we'll put those in there. Like it's just a really good community and I'd love for more people to be a part of it and more people to, to see uh, some of these fabulous people. I'd also love to get to know you guys, which is also something that still boggles me. They all know me, but I don't know all of you. So I would love the opportunity to get to know some of you guys. I'd also love to do like Q&A nights if you guys had particular questions about. Yes, d and I'm not like pro a pro D, D player or something of that nature but i can help that is why i created this channel i also if you had questions about running a, a niche business or something of that nature i think we can make a pretty cool community and i think it's already pretty awesome but i'd love to have more people join and more people play games with us go do that that's it sorry this is a lame video of me just talking <laughs> and lots of hand. I'll put links to everything down below, all of the cool products we had, the Discord, and I'm gonna try to film three more videos today because I'm feeling that good. So thank you so much for being a part of this community. Thank you for your patience while I worked through some crazy pregnancy stuff. As I continue to work through crazy pregnancy stuff and become a mother, I only get to like live this nerdy fantasy because of you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you want to see more behind the scenes, here's a nice playlist. I just released that one about how I designed the Artificer journal. It took forever, so I hope you like it. But thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.